Hello and welcome back to another Arkham Horror livestream. It has been way too long since we've last played, but we are back in Dunwich Legacy. I have Professor Meg with me. How are you doing, Professor Meg? Doing great. Um, hey guys, sorry if my energy is a little bit low. <laughs> I flew in and got home at 3 a.m. last night. Um, but I did rest until this, so and I am drinking. <laughs> I think for the first time ever, Nelson, I'm having coffee instead of alcohol or something. Nice, nice, yeah. <laughs> Well, Maybe I've done coffee before because we were playing at 10 a.m. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. We, we have drank before, but that's when we are, you know, going with the 7 p.m., not the 1, yes. p 1, 1 p.m. Yes. stream. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking because usually I stream at 8 30, which is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> drinking time. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. I'm still having my morning coffee. Nice, nice. I switched to my uh, noontime Dr. Pepper, so that's always good. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely obsessed with Dr. Pepper. We I have got... a Red Bull for after this, and I'm oh, very smart. excited about that. Very smart, yeah. very smart, yeah. Mm. Red Bull is good. Red Bull is good. Red Bull works. <laughs> we got B-Snow in the chat. Hey, B-Snow and Mr. Dom. Good evening, everybody. How are you doing, Mr. Dom? And how are you Hello. doing, B-Snow? So, okay, so... I about threw my back out yesterday because Frosthaven arrived, and <laughs> <laughs> that thing is not light. <laughs> yeah. It was... but I didn't put it up because I think it was just a bit too chaotic, but there's a video of me unboxing it, and maybe I'll take clips of it and do a reel, yeah. but me, the box was inside of my wormwood, <laughs> so me trying to get it out and even just trying to push it out or something because of the wormwood, it was so difficult. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, it was crazy. My, like, my front porch does not have an overhang, and so it was raining yesterday, and so, like, the box was out there, and it was raining, and so I was, like, trying to get it in. I was like, geez, this is way heavier yeah. than I was expecting, but. What a day for it to be raining when you get a delivery. Like, yeah, ugh. yeah. Rude. I mean, it was supposed to get here on Wednesday, and it was raining all Wednesday, and then it got delayed. I was like, that's fine, because I'm not. I'm not set up to play it like now, right? And so, yeah. and then it was delivered on Thursday where it's still raining. So, <laughs> but that's fine. Hey, Carol Guy, how's it going? I'm currently playing in two campaigns. That's exciting. I know. I know. It's oh, very no. good. Life is good. <laughs> my, uh, my, my, uh, my top down camera is not working. Let me see if I can just fix this on the fly because that feels. Like something, hmm. I fixed this way too many times for me not to know how to do it at this point. It's working oh. in Discord. Oh really? My top down camera. Is it the? Is it? Put your hand in front of it. Oh, right. you're right. It's frozen. <laughs> 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 this always Ooh, happens. I don't know. This always happens. That's fine. What I will probably have. Usually, what I have to do is I have to unplug it and plug it back in for some reason. Well. Well, I'm going to have to turn mine back on every 30 minutes, so at least you don't have to do that. That's very fair. <laughs> Carol, I caught the thing that shares the name with a beer you typically put a slice of lime into. Oh, no. COVID. Corona. Oh, no. I was not <laughs> understanding whatsoever. I was like, what could this be? <laughs> yeah. I put the wrong one. Okay, I'm smart. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but at least you get to stay home and watch streams. Yeah, there you and go. And hopefully maybe play some games. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm so excited better. to play Nelson. I've been playing a lot of games this week, and I'm not going to lie, I've won quite a few of them. Nice. And I am very hopeful that we are actually, maybe, possibly going to make it out alive this time. I think we will. I think you're carrying in all of that good energy and winning energy that mm -hmm. i'm yes. ready to I'm, re I'm ready to take home a win finally. our luck was gonna turn sometime <laughs> right yeah okay cool i think everything is fixed now let's go um i think yeah okay so karakai um you're supposed to be doing three night shifts but dead yeah Ugh, yikes oof and then the more I look at Arkham, the more I really want to play it, but I can just about afford I can just about afford keeping up with Marvel Champions. Yeah, Arkham Arkham is a, a tough one to keep up with, but it's if you haven't even started. Yeah. Start at the beginning. And maybe you can find like used collections. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually a really good 
I said that like that's actually a really good point. No, that's a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, especially with like the repackaged stuff. So I'm wondering if there are going to be people yeah. out there trying to sell their old repack or non repackaged content because they want to go with mm -hmm. the newer stuff, which the newer yeah. stuff is just. There's a spiral bound notebook, which honestly I've thought about buying for just that, but I have restrained myself from doing that. But um, I, you you may be able to find some used stuff out there. Also, Board yeah. Game Geek. When I was looking to buy Lord of the Rings, Board Game Geek, the like the store there has a lot of like full collections that are fairly reasonably priced. Hmm. Hey, George. Good hey, afternoon. George. It's been forever. <laughs> it has <laughs> been a long time since we have played Arkham yeah a bit too long a bit too long a bit too long and it's i'm been a... so in the mood for it i'm so excited nice this Good. is this is the genre i need in my life right now nice yeah yeah we uh we started right around halloween which is crazy because mm -hmm. we are now like what nine eight days away from christmas yeah like that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy i love christmas <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. I it really snuck up on me because I was traveling all of this week and then before that was PAX Unplugged that like my house isn't even really decorated or anything like that but I'll have to watch some Christmas movies tonight I think yes my wife and I are doing Christmas tomorrow because we're traveling uh -huh. to my parents house next weekend for at the 25th so mm -hmm. I'm excited for that so we're gonna do Extra We're gonna play Christmas. some games. More Christmas, more fun, right? That's awesome. <laughs> Kai, what are you guys gonna play? Ooh, you know, so we I was just telling you that we had um played too many bones like multiple times over the last week. And what we what I what we have started doing is because Oop. it's been thirty minutes. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> what what we have started doing is we have the wormwood, the replacement parts from all of that kind of came and i don't know if i talked about that on stream but i was the, gonna say i knew yours came but i don't know if i knew that you even put it together yet so i had started putting it together and then it did like it was out of spec so it did not fit together. oh yeah and so I they they had to send me replacement parts they sent me two replacement parts which is really lucky because the first one that i tried also did not fit wow and so, <laughs> and so the second one did um and so we got all of that built and put together and it's great and so we've been playing a lot of games on that but what we've been doing is if we're playing a new game we leave it set up and then mm -hmm. we play it again soon to like solidify the rules so we just played arc nova and that's still set up i think we're gonna try and play arc nova again either today or tomorrow oh that's smart yeah i want to i don't know if you put them up anywhere but i want to see pictures of your warm wine okay in your yeah. room I have a uh, I have a video coming out tomorrow on my oh, board game channel of me putting it together. So, okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah I'll, I'll send you pictures too. Um, yeah, what what color wood did you go with? I'm sorry, I'm so obsessed. No, with no, that you're table. you're fine. It was the I went with the the espresso maple or the espresso, mm -hmm. but then they ran out of that, so they upgraded me to cherry. Oh, nice! Yeah. Cherry is what I have. Nice, yeah. It's it's a really good wood. It's very solid. Mm -hmm. It's really sturdy. Sturdily. Did made. you do the medium size? No, I went war gaming. <laughs> oh, nice! Okay. It's huge. It, that it's, I bet it's beautiful. Wow! It's huge. Um, wow! And it's, so something funny, Nelson. Yeah. What's that up? you might already know this. Okay. But I got the cherry one. Yeah. And cherry wood actually darkens in the sun. And oh, I'll send really? you pictures. Of, like our cup holders, like inside the part that goes in the rail yeah, is a lighter yeah, yeah. colored wood. Really. And I was concerned that like the finish was wearing or something like that. Yeah. So I asked about it on a live stream once and like everyone was like, don't you know, cherry darkens in the sun. <laughs> so it's actually, it just like it, catching the sunlight, but just to something to know. That's okay. That's really interesting. Yeah. Ours I think it makes it basement. a richer color. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. ours, uh, ours is in the basement away from all sunlight. So oh. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I also I will wanted to buy. Thing. I wanted to buy accessories after the fact. I know they. Well, I asked them at PAX when we were there. Like, how do I buy mm -hmm. accessories? Because I was just like at the time, I just didn't order them. And they said like, "Hey, we have like a fast pass tier thing that you can go on and order them now." And so I went. I, it's just not letting me do it. So it's like I, I don't Aww. know. I'll, I'll figure it out later. But um, so with our table, because we did the Kickstarter, yeah. um they opened up something for us to pledge that we never got the thing that holds the toppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we ordered that and, like, a few other cup holders. 
but that might still be open. So I'll check because if it is, you can just add whatever you want to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that was for like backers. Cool. Okay. Yeah. George says MGT that... 2.0. Oh, I was reading it as you were. <laughs> <laughs> uh on the kickstarter coming next year okay cool yeah, yeah. I, i'm not in any rush right now we just use tv trays and we set them next to well, we do that too <laughs> yeah but dang the cup holders are like 45 to 90 dollars they're not they're not inexpensive yeah it's kind of nice <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear my my horror story that i think a lot of the chat or a lot of the people if they watch the marvel champion streams already know that I... my horror oh, no. story I, I usually put my cards over here on a uh, TV tray, and I'm in this rotating chair, and <gasps> I rotated and knocked my Marvel Champion cards everywhere, uh, <laughs> like, like 15 minutes before a stream, and I was just like, no. Oh my god, <laughs> the stress. Yeah, it was one of the four-player streams, so I spent like the entire time off camera just sorting like 3,000 oh cards. <laughs> At least the only thing I was thinking when you were saying that is that like there also was like a drink or something on that oh, tray no, because no, no, no. that would have been. Whew. Yeah, my drinks go to my left and the cards go to my right. That is always the <laughs> that is always my setup. It must be separated. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but I was. Yeah, no cards were injured though. All the cards survived. I lost a couple <laughs> sleeves, but outside of that, we were we were absolutely fine. So. Oh, okay. So we are here to Good play job. some Arkham Horror. Right. So before we dive into it, what did you upgrade? What does your deck look like now? Oh my goodness, you guys. I've been shuffling it, so I'm sorry. I may not open it, but <laughs> I upgraded my two beat cops, which, you know, I was going to say, Nelson, I don't know what I took out for those, but now that I think about it and I'm waking up a little, I took out my old beat cops for yes, the new beat cops. And I <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So the the level two beat cops you had two, you had four experience to spend so you're able yes, to upgrade I've both been of your levels. I've saving up my pennies. Ooh, nice. <laughs> and so these now have a little bit more buffer thresholds, and then instead of discarding to deal damage, you can deal a damage to the beat cop and then deal damage to an enemy at your location. Crazy for Mark, love it. Which I'm realizing now we can heal them. Yes. Sometimes, depending yeah, on what kind of healing it is. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. And then also because I have the upgraded chance encounters now, if one of them does die or you need to pitch one for whatever reason, Charlie can pull it back and then I can be running a beat cop too if absolutely necessary. Because there are yeah, some scenarios like that. that have uh, have more enemies to kill than, <laughs> than Charlie can handle. <laughs> but I got this. Mine is a less exciting <laughs> upgrade. I went from a... I had three experience to spend. I went from a level zero lucky to a level three lucky. With the idea, I'm hoping to get enough experience to upgrade my second lucky into another level three. But the the benefits here is it goes from a one to zero cost. It goes from a plus two to a plus three. And then I get to draw a card and I can commit it to any player's uh, skill test. Which... Is a lot of upgrades. Like now that now that I said yeah. all of them out loud, that that was a lot. But now with the drawing the card, can you choose to keep it in your hand? Like if it doesn't apply to the test, is it drawing it and then you can commit it? Or uh, so so Lucky says that whenever you would fail a skill test, you can play Lucky. Sorry, hiccups. Uh, you get plus three to that skill test, and then you get to draw a card. So it just okay. like replaces itself in your hand. Got you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm hoping to get enough for another one or another level three because I think those are those are really critical right now. And then, then yeah. yeah, I don't. I so I was a little sad. I didn't have a ton of like level five allies in my collection mm -hmm. currently with the cards that I have. So I was hoping for some like crazy ally or something, but I didn't. I didn't see any. So I think. The rest of the campaign mm -hmm. is going to be a lot of like level like three or lower upgrades. Yeah. Okay, I can't. I actually cannot choose this lucky, so I'm gonna go. That's that's maybe why I didn't do it. I can only choose luckies, or I can only choose cards from my class chosen classes oh. zero, level zero to two. So I need to switch this one out. Oh no! <laughs> so it's gonna be a level two lucky, but I'm gonna go do that. You talk. <laughs> <laughs> Today in Arkham, 
Um, yeah, guys, so this past week, I'm just going to randomly talk, but this past week, I went to Devon of Devon Talks Tabletop in Little Rock, Arkansas, um, and I've been doing a top 100 games of all time for 2022 over on Board Game Co's channel, and uh, we filmed a whole bunch of them. We filmed one through 60, and they're all 10 games at a piece. Um, and then after that, yesterday, I got to go hang out with Play the Game, previously known as Kids Planning, and we played Heat. How is Heat? Jason said it was okay. Really yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a racing game. Okay, so we did a we played we did a playthrough for Play the Game, and then we did a first impressions on Alex's channel, which both of those will be up at some point. Not sure when, but um, for me, what I said was. For a racing game, it's executed very well. I think everything it does, it does very, very well. It is not something I would ever choose to play. Okay. Is that just because you are not a fan of racing games? Yeah. And I've only really started playing them this year that, like, between Gen Con and now, I've played a few just to learn the genre. Yeah. Um. And, it, yeah, I just... It, you're just playing numbered cars trying to beat other people racing around a track. I don't know. Have you ever played Formula D? No. That's my favorite racing game. Are you familiar with Formula D? I've heard it talked about like in this scope, but like I don't know anything about it. Yeah. I didn't retain any of the information. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of playing cards, like you are shifting up and down in gears, and the different gears are different dice that you roll. So mm. there's like, I want to say a D100. I don't know if it's actually oh, that big. Yeah, no. I mean, That's like, cool. It, yeah. And then. Like the higher gears, you have a chance to roll higher numbers, but mm -hmm. whenever you're going around a turn, they're like, you have to stop X amount of times in the turn or else like you'd start taking damage to your car. Mm -hmm. So you want, you need to shift down for the turns and then shift up on the straightaways. That one's a lot of fun. That one's a lot of fun. And it's like, it's a little bit more chaotic than I assume a lot of these more strategic racing games are, but I enjoy yeah. that. One. Heat was kind of like that where you gear up and down. And for each gear, you can play that many cards. So, like, first gear, you can only play one. And fourth gear, you can play four. But you have to play mm. the number for the gear that you're in. Gotcha. And you do have to take turns, like, a bit slower. And you're playing numbered cards. So you have cards like one, two, three, four, and five. But if you go eight around a three-mile-per-hour turn, then you take five <laughs> damage. Yeah. So, or, like, five heat. Yeah. Um, so you do have to, like, gear up and down so that you're not playing, like, the higher-cost ones. Gotcha. It was fine. You yeah. know, it was just, yeah. I was joking with them later, and I was like, if we were all playing cats that were trying to, like, loop around to catch fishes out of a river, I think I would be all about it. So, yeah. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, is, how is Play the Game Studio? It looks insane. Beautiful. Yeah. It was so beautiful and so very cool. That was probably the coolest part about playing a racing game, was that they have, like, a ton of cameras. They have, like, seven or eight cameras. And obviously, like, there's some that, like, zoom in on the table at different angles. And then there's, uh, like, all the TV monitors to our right. So as Daniel is stopping to readjust the cameras, it looks like NASCAR. Because he's, like, awesome. he was zooming in on the racetrack where all the cars are. And you can see, like, the camera angle moving. And it's, like, <laughs> that made it, that was probably the coolest part about playing a racing game. Was watching him yeah. trying to record it yeah. and, like, follow the cars. It was cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Carol Kai says, just play Pitch Car. I, I'm going to edit. I, Pitch Car is my favorite racing game. Have you played Pitch Car? No. It's a dexterity one where you're flicking cars around a wooden track. And like if you come <laughs> off, it, it's chaotic. I love it. It's amazing. Out of all the ones I've tried this year, the one I enjoyed the most so far is Tiny Turbo Cars. I have not even heard of that one. That one, you have like a, a thing that you hold that looks like a controller. And it has those things in it that, as you were a kid, like, you could slide them and then slide other ones around. Like, you know, like, the puzzle pictures that you would yeah, try to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, um, It's like that, and you're using that to program the different actions that you take. And some of them are movement, but some of them are, like, attacking or moving diagonal and things like that. And each car has, like, special abilities. But you're going through a track, and so everyone takes those little things shakes them all up and, like, rearranges it, passes it to the next person, and then it's timed for whoever, like... It's not actually timed, it's just whoever does it first and whoever does it last gets, like, a penalty. Gotcha. Um, so you're fun. racing to do it to be the first one to finish it anyway because you get a token. That's cool. Um, but it, it is really, like, that little programming part made it really fun. <laughs> nice. Like, it was much cuter. It looks like Mario Kart meets uh, Toy Story. Very, very okay. cute. Yeah. Yeah. 
Awesome. Like you're jumping over toys and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Caro Kai says that they cannot wait for some of their board games to arrive. Unsettled being the big one, Primal Awakening and Monster mm-hmm. Hunter World are also up there. The Deep Rock Galactic and Dead by Daylight. That's a lot. I didn't realize I Dead really by Daylight had a. Primal. Yeah, I didn't realize Dead yeah. by Daylight had a um, had a board game implementation. One of my cousins streams that all the time, the video game version. Ooh. So. Is it zombies? That's uh, what it sounds like. I think it's like a. You'll link it. Thanks, Kara Guy. Yeah, I think uh, I want. Uh, it's like, I don't know. It's basically, I think Creatures? it's like an intense game of tag. Like, I think they're, oh. like, they're like the po- possessed people that are trying to grab and <laughs> like hang up. Like, I've watched a little bit of it. I don't understand what's happening, so I don't pay that much attention to it. <laughs> like, we're not watching him stream it, but it looks really fun. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Alrighty, we got, so I did not read this last time because we took a little bit of a detour. So we went, Essex County Express went all the way down to Louisiana. The bayou. We took an <laughs> overnight train. The overnight train to the bayou, and then we're coming back up to Dunwich. So that, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what happened. <laughs> just a quick pit stop. But uh, <laughs> the, the Maddie wrote the synopsis that I did not read last time, but we're going to dive into it here. So here we go. Last time on Arkham Horror, the Dumbwich Legacy, opening shot of Charlie Kane buying train tickets for the entire entourage and Mark. Mark, whatever is going on right now, I probably has something to do with that pod dunk called Dunwich. I say we go there and investigate. Charlie, Bonnie, wake me up when we get there. I'm going to get some shut eye. Wider shot of the Essex County Express crawling to a stop and slowly going backwards. Mark, Charlie, wake up. We have a situation here. A grappling horror shows up in the dining car and gets a hold of both main characters. Charlie, get off me, you blasted thing. Charlie uh, manages to escape the reach of the whore, and he moves into the sleeping car with Mark. They feel pounding on the door from the dining car. Mark, we need to get to the front of the train. Fiddles with the front door of the sleeping car. Oh, crap, this thing isn't working. Charlie gets pounced on by another grappling whore, while the art student quietly works on the knob and opens the door. Charlie, squirming away from the horror. Oh, thank goodness. Right in the nick of Charlie and Mark look up to see an emergent monstrosity which leads down to the train car to attack. Mark, son of a blackout. Fade and shot. <laughs> Fade and shot at Charlie dozing off in the dining car. Mark. Oh, yeah, because we mulligan. <laughs> I forgot about that. Because we died so quickly. And then we yeah, started yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlie, wake up. We have a situation here. Maddie's a genius. Like, Maddie I can't. is great. This is amazing. <laughs> Charlie makes random noises as he's waking up. Sorry, Mark. Just had a terrible dream. Dr. Millen Christopher rolls his eyes as he quickly uh, works on the door to the next train car that Mark charges into, machete in hand. Granny Orn, keep it down, you whippersnapper. I need my beauty sleep. Mark, oh, thank goodness. I thought you'd be a monster or something. Granny stares holes into Mark. Shot of the previous (laughs) train car being pulled in by a wormhole into the sky. Charlie and Mark stare at one another in belief and disbelief. Charlie, if we're going to the front of the car, we need all the help we can get. I, as a helpless passenger, hey, you, yeah, you, pick up, pick up your sorry behind and follow me. Shot of an emergent monstrosity being blown up by a dynamite blast. Then Mark stabs it with a machete to finish it off. Charlie, we're finally at the engine car. Good. Picks up shovels lying around. Start digging, everyone. Wider shot of Charlie, Charlie's entourage shoveling coal into the engine while a wormhole sucks in more passenger cars. Mark, come on, faster. The train slowly picks up steam until it runs away from the wormhole, slowly collapsing on itself. Everyone in Charlie's entourage celebrates and high-fives one another. Helpless passenger. What What the hell was that? Mark, engine failure. Nothing serious. Everyone else nods their head in agreement, selling the lie. Bonnie, I must admit, sir, that we managed to save certain death this time. Charlie, indeed. But there, but if there's anything that's a given, Bonnie, is that all things will only get harder from here. Much, much harder. End. So... That was amazing. Yikes. Thank you again, Maddie, for those. I love those. Those are so yeah. great. So after our detail, I, to the I Bayou, appreciate them so much. It's yeah. like one of the coolest things for. <laughs> does Maddie do it for all of your campaign games? Uh, for for the Arkham ones, yeah. 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 So. I love it. Oh uh, yeah, they're so they're so much fun. Aww. Especially especially when it's been a month since we've last played. Yeah. And we yeah. can we can remember what's going on, but. Yeah. Uh, your streams are cool, Nelson. What's up? 
Your streams are cool. <laughs> well, thank you. I gotta say, even the way you set all of this up and how you have chat showing and stuff, like, I think you do a really great job. Well, thank you so much. It's very much. fun. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Alrighty, you ready for this? I'm ready to kill everything I possibly can. Alrighty, you want to read the intro? The usual, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Blood on the altar. This sounds like something that we may get to kill some stuff in, so. Yes. I'm going to put their blood on the altar. And exactly. Raise my own thing. <laughs> Alright, this is it's scenario four, right? Scenario four. Blood on the altar. Yes. I was like, I'm so sleepy that I'm like, it's IV4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you finally reach Dunwich, you are greeted by Zebulon Waitley and Earl Sawyer, another man from the village who had met with Dr. Armitage during the incident several months ago. Things ain't looking too good here, Earl tells you. Some folk went, some folk up and went missing a few nights ago. Them Whipperpools won't shut up. To know what you're doing here, but last time you Arkham folk came around, it was bad news. Very bad news. His eyes blink rap rapidly, and he coughs and looks away. Look, why don't you rest for the night and look, and look for whatever? Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> it's this weird speech that these aren't real words. Look, why don't you rest for the night and look for whatever it is you're looking for tomorrow, Zebulon chimes in, putting a wrinkled hand on your shoulder. You begin to protest, but your aching muscles and weary mind won't allow you to refuse. The elderly man offers to take you in for the night and drives you to his home on the outskirts of Dunwich Village. The town is disheveled and eerie, and you find yourself wishing you hadn't come here at all. You fall asleep on the ride over and scarcely remember anything else from that night. When you awaken, you find Zebulon's house is abandoned, and there is no sight of the elderly man, or Mr. Sawyer. Fearing the worst, you head into the village of Dunwich to investigate, hoping to find answers. I love how it's like, you were scared, you fell asleep in the car. Yeah. I mean, that's what I do when I get scared. <laughs> right? Like, unless it, because it says you don't remember much from that night, unless it was like a magic sleepiness, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so... George has redeemed hydrate, so we both need to drink. My wife. Oh, got... <laughs> I don't know if coffee hydrates, but I'll do it. <laughs> and then Karakai has banned us from saying the word that precedes whore in this in the title of this game. Arkham. That one. <laughs> we're not allowed to Arkham. say that. <laughs> oh, we're not allowed to say it. Yeah, he he redeemed. We we're not allowed to say Arkham for five minutes. Well. Starting now, because I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, last time on Elder Core, the card game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we just read your recap, Maddie. Thank you again for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is this has got a kind of a weird setup, but we put Village Commons into play. That's where we are starting, and then we are removing. We removed one copy of each of the locations and then one of the locations completely and that left us with two four five locations which is house in the reeds the church burned ruins bishop's brook and the general store these are randomized so we don't necessarily know what's on the back and we are not playing with half of them so that's kind of what's going on mm. um we got all the cards for everyone who was kidnapped so we are shuffling them together with Zebulon Watley and Earl Sawyer. Professor Warren Rice and Dr. Francis Morgan were kidnapped. So we got four potential sacrifices. Um, we're going to save them all. We are. Sure. Yes, sure. absolutely. <laughs> um, set the falling cards outside out of play. We got Silas Bishop, the hidden chamber, key to the chamber, and powder of Ivan Ghazi. The investigators were delayed on the way to Dunwich. We put one doom, which yes. were we delayed? I think I from think so. losing one of the things, something yeah. delayed us. Yeah. Okay. I uh, can't remember. Maybe it was the casino one because of the way we lost in it. I think it said we were delayed. Yeah. I, I don't so. remember. Let me see if I can find. But uh, I think. I wrote it down. Okay, so no, no, we were unconscious for seven several hours, which did something to us, but we were not delayed. Oh, I think that well, was. That's good. I think that was if we failed the, the train. county. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Um, so we get another turn. That's good. Okay. Uh, shuffle the remainder. Yeah, Maddie says, I don't think you're delayed. You want Essex County Express. Okay, perfect. And Maddie, we read the old, we read the Essex County um, recap again, which was hilarious. Yeah, not, yeah, not the Rougarou one. Um, yeah. Or, yeah. It was because, amazing. Yeah, because we did not read it for Rougarou. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's it was just last week. <laughs> it's been it's been a hot second. Um, we the O'Brannon gang does ugh, the O'Bran the O'Bannon gang does have a bone to pick with us, so mm. we shuffled in that mod set as well, and then we take the previously set aside uh, key to the chamber, along with the top three cards of the encounter deck. Shuffle them. Uh, the hidden chamber and the key three cards of the encounter deck we're going to shuffle these together and place them randomly under each one of the outside locations mm. except for village Collins comments so we basically have to find the hidden chamber and the key and that's going to help us progress okay so while I'm shuffling these you want to read us our agenda and act yes alright our agenda which guys this image it might show better on Nelson's screen. Whoop! I'm so bad at this. Why? It's scary. It's yeah. very scary. Yeah, it's not I'm great. very concerned and worried for him. I think that <laughs> I don't know which one of the men that is, but strange disappearances. You're welcome. You're welcome in Dunwich has been cold. A string of disappearances has left the already aloof townsfolk on edge. Most of them look to you with distrust, and few are willing to help in your investigation. Who knows what will happen if you don't find the location of the missing townsfolk soon? Ooh. I agree. I'm just, who cares if they like us or not? I'm concerned <laughs> for the missing people. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> I'm not being shamed into helping them. <laughs> um, And then Act 1A, Searching for Answers. The disappearances in town may have be related to events in... <clears throat> you suspect that something awful is afoot. You must find what was missing, what the missing townsfolk are being held in order to unveil this conspiracy. Objective. When an investigator enters the hidden chamber, advance. Alrighty. Cool. Did you like, Nelson, how I coughed over the word we're not supposed to use? Oh, I, yes, I did. That's what that was. I like that. That was great. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> okay, so. Five resources. Seven five cards? Resources, five cards. Five cards. Nelson, every time I'm going to do this to you. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> and if you draw any weaknesses, you get to set them aside, draw back up, and then you get a really kind mulligan. So you're going to set cards aside, draw right back up to five, shuffle everything back in. And if you draw I got weakness, the good beat cop nice. already. Good. Let's and see. my elder sign amulet. This is great. Nice. I got Dr. Christopher, which is going to help us really, really get some clues. Doc I got Dr. Granny and then Dr. Art Student. They're all doctors now. Okay, you literally just told me, Nelson, but the yep. ones I want to mulligan, I, I don't have to mulligan my whole hand. I can mulligan some cards, right? Some cards. They get set okay. aside. You will draw back up. Then after the okay. mulligan, you shuffle everything back in. All right, so I'm keeping Elder Sign Amulet, Beat Cop, and Vicious Blow, and I'm going to mulligan Emergency Aid and Elusive because I never want to be elusive, honestly. Oh, but if it's a treachery, I can still skip it, right? Yep, you skip it, yep. Okay, so I got a Taunt. And if it bleeds, which is great. Nice. Strong hand. Good. Okay. Let's go. Happy about that. And I, because I mulliganed, I'm not getting the treachery. Yeah. If yeah. I hadn't done that, I would have drawn it in two turns. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Nice. Same. Same actually with me. That's the exact yeah. same thing that would have happened with me. We are clairvoyant <laughs> this time. It's perfect. Hey, successful. Hey, successful. Long time no see. Maddie says that they usually give Dunwich characters a southern twang, then you realize they're all from Massachusetts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but like the southern half of Massachusetts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at our current village commons, we can resign if we wanted to. So that's a thing. Okay. Uh, also, so this is a weird map, and I learned this with... The, my previous playthrough that not all of these locations are connected connected, connected. connected mm -hmm. or anything 
green just in case it's a little hard to see green is a two-way connection red is a one-way connection where it's pointing to where you can connect so being in village commons we cannot go to the burned ruins but we can go from the burned ruins to the village commons hey can say thank you for the subscription with prime thank you and then successful i know here here thanks to george just finishing up work before the weekend nice the and then George says this. <laughs> yes, the cape. I was yes. just thinking, so for anyone, just for context, I am a Massachusetts, for people that don't know. But I was just thinking, like, for all of these ones, like, when they have the heavy accents, like, what you should be doing is when they have, like, a heavier, I don't know, type of Massachusetts <laughs> accent, it would be more like, ugh, where was some, a quote I was reading? We're going to tangent for a second, Nelson. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So it goes like, look, why don't you rest for the night and look for whatever it is you're looking for tomorrow? But if you're doing it in Massachusetts, it would be like, look, why don't you rest for the night and look for whatever <laughs> you're looking for tomorrow? <laughs> like, <laughs> rest for the night. <laughs> rest for the night. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> Meg is a masshole. <laughs> yes, exactly. Only when driving. Only when driving. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I I I am on team just build a little bit. What are, what's your opening play? Uh, like? so we want to end up going south, right? Yeah, I think so. First... I think if we go like to the general store and then make make our way counterclockwise, mm -hmm. that's probably going to be the best way to get or hit every single location quickly. So I have a lot of fighty things. Um, like I have vicious blow if it bleeds and taunt, which I'm happy to just hold on to if you want to spend a turn setting up. Um, because I could just put my beat cop into play. Okay. And gain resources. Like that's not the worst. Okay. If we want to chill right here, or I'm happy to move first as well, and then if anything bad happens, try to take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Whoop. Thirty minutes. Look at that. Whoop. Someday this won't happen to me. <laughs> okay, I, I'll just go ahead and go um, because I got a pretty boring turn. I'm going to okay. use emergency cash to get three resources. I got eight resources. I'm going to spend four for Christopher and four for Granny. And I am flushed That's out such a great of card. Yes. Like, I understand that it's like a base setup card that's like, oh, everyone should use this. But it is so good. It's so good. It's so incredibly good. Um, <laughs> George is calling it. <laughs> One hour, 10 minutes into the stream will be the next video blip. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and I, it probably makes more sense, especially now that I have Granny, that we stick together because Granny is the one that I can exhaust and give you like a plus or minus one. So if mm -hmm. a monster does come out, it would be good to be at the same location just so you have this backup if you need it. Okay. And okay. we can just, we can call in the cops. Like we're just going to have all the allies this yes. game. We brought just the like entourage. We brought the army. Let's go. <laughs> For real. <laughs> um okay so you're done right yep okay i'll play the beat cop um i will play the beat cop gain one resource and then also play the elder sign amulet so basically nice. all my resources nice and that's that and but now we're doing water yeah and then the uh the rule that i learned is that trauma it's just damage you start with. You can heal past the trauma. Yeah. Makes it a Thank lot goodness. better. Makes it a lot, lot better. Yeah. Okay, so enemy phase, there's no enemies, so we unexhaust. That's what I didn't grab. I was like, I feel like I'm missing a piece. I'm missing all my exhaust tokens. That's what it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we do need those. We want them exhausted. I need to buy I buy like I have these like holders for all my tokens. Um mm -hmm. that I bought from Jason. D20 woodworking. I need to. They're beautiful. I need to get like two more. I need two more because I keep buying more tokens. <laughs> You're Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we draw a card, get a resource. Ooh, I got I got my lucky. Oh, I got my my level one lucky or my level zero mm. lucky. I got elusive, which is fine. I'm not gonna complain about it. <laughs> nice. What is nice is that your video 
gives me just more mm -hmm. space to put my tokens because all my tokens are hiding behind your video on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> You're like, I'll grab a token through the table. <laughs> um, top of the round, we're going to place a Doom on the current agenda. Your encounter card. Kidnapped. Test brain four or feet four. If you add, add an ally asset you control to the pool of potential sacrifices, then attach kidnapped to the current agenda. If you have no ally assets, take two damage and discard kidnapped instead. Yikes. Yeah, that's not great. So brain four or feet four. I don't have anything that I can give you. That's okay. I can use Sophie, right? Already? Yes. Yes, you can. Even though it's not on my turn? Okay. And then I can give you I'm... a plus one with Granny if you need it. I'm fine discarding Taunt. Do we think that's fine? Probably, yeah. Okay. I'll discard Taunt and take a damage and draw a card. Okay. Okay. If I had done that the other way, could I have discarded the one I drew? You can commit as many as you want. So, like, even if I draw a card, I'm gonna. Sorry, guys, I'm retconning. Yeah. I'm gonna have said I took the damage first yeah. and drew True Grit, and then this one I'm gonna discard instead because that's better okay. for us. So, um, you're, what are you at now? Three, four, five, six. Six to four. Let's see what happened. You think that's enough, Nelson? I'm afraid of this huh. skills tech. You test. Bas you basically have <laughs> a plus one too, if Granny, if we need Granny. Oh, because her is after the fact. Yeah, when an investigator at your location would fail a skill test, I can exhaust her to give you plus one. Okay, okay. I drew minus two. So you're good. Yes, we're exactly good. Ooh. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Go team. Now let's see what you have to go through. <laughs> yeah. I got strange signs. Test book three. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool to your location. Two clues instead if there are three or four investigators in the game. Is that bad? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Oh, what it is, is that you reveal these hidden cards if you don't have any clues on your location. So here, it's not bad because it does mm -hmm. not matter for this middle one. But for the yeah. out, for the outside one, it's pretty bad. So I'm just I'm just going to go. I have a three to three. So, yeah, that's great. So do you but is there a way to choose to fail? You can't all think of failing. I don't think so. No, I mean, I guess who cares if we well, I don't know. Zero. So you actually pass. Cool. Go team. Off to a good start. I wanted the clue token. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> Alex. Whoops, I'm late. Has Meg died yet? No. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I'm actually doing great. I have a cop now. Nice. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, go for it. You want me to go first? Yeah, I do. Okay. I will go to the general store and see what's going on. Okay, so Mark. I'm not sure if I have the right general store. So this is going to be. I actually don't know how to distinguish them. Okay, so it's the general store with a shroud of two. Okay, great. That's better for us. Comes in with two clue tokens. You cannot gain resources while you're at the general store. If there are no okay, clues here, fine. draw the encounter card underneath Osborne's general store. Limit once per game. Group limit once per game. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm. that makes sense. So should I just try to get a clue token? Might as well, right? What are the bad things for the... Like, if I draw a bad chip? Oh, yeah. So If you fail place one doom, that's, like, the worst one. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only bad thing. And I... What are the odds of that, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I am going to go crazy. And, well, should I just use Sophie? I was going to discard a card, but I think I'll just use Sophie. I'm just going to start off with a lot of damage. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I drew emergency cash, though. So I'll use that if I... Well, I guess I could just try to... We'll see. <laughs> I haven't played this in a while, but I'm like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, so I use Sophie. I'm going to try to investigate... Oh, great. I drew this one. So, no, but I exactly passed because I had a nice. four minus two is two. There you go. Okay. I don't want to use... Actually, I think I can only use Sophie once per turn anyway. Nope, oh. I can do it every test. Yeah. Um, But I don't think I want to do her again, so I might just play my emergency cash. Yeah. Well, you can't okay. gain resources. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, so I could draw a card, or just for fun, I could just do a straight test. Uh, I got the clue, so draw the card. Even okay, though it's cool. your last card, so it may be bad, but it's fine. Hmm. Well, is there fine. anything else I could do? No, right? Unless I just keep moving. Do you want me to... I mean, nothing bad is happening here. Should I move out? Or is it once the clue token comes off, we find out what's underneath it? it it's a quick action to find out what's underneath it. I think... I want you there just in case it is a monster because we shuffled in like, three. Don't random. leave me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we shuffled in three random cards, so they, those could be anything. And I think it worked. Yeah, so I think next turn, like I will, I guarantee get this clue token because I'm playing an ally that gets it, mm -hmm. and so I'm thinking okay. that. At the start of next turn, we'll flip it up, and if it's a monster, then you can deal with it. And then we I'm can gonna draw out. a card. Okay. It's a treasury. Oh. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Which one is it? Psychosis. So after I take one or more horror, I take one direct damage, and I can spend two actions to discard it. So it's honestly not the worst. Okay. This is one that I like that when I take horror, I'll take damage and then can draw a card. Yes, yes. Which isn't great, but at least I can be like, "Well, something good is happening." <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a resource. Yeah, do it up there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna do just a straight test to get the clue token, because mm -hmm. it's only a shard of two. I think I have the art student. Whenever she enters play. I can discover a clue at my location. I feel like that's probably going to be better at a higher shroud value. Yeah. But I think yeah, I, that's fair. I think I still will take the money. What? For two, I'm going to come down, and then three, I'm going to investigate. So I'm at three, four, five, six, seven to two. Oh god! Zero. Go team. So we got the clue. You killed it. Oh, I've been practicing all my life for this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're going to save all those sacrifices. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then that is our turn. So monster turns, no monster turns. So we're unexhausting. We don't get to get any resources, but then we do get to draw a card. True. Oh my gosh, I forgot that too. Medical students. Nice. I got a flashlight now, so okay. I can be a little more useful with the clues. Nice. Do you have any Imagine weapons? if we find the key this time. No, I have no weapons yet. I also have the card that lets me look at like the top nine cards and look for a weapon, and I don't have that either. Hmm. Bummer. Yeah. Okay. But we're doing fine. Yeah, we're we're fine. So we'll place one doom here. Yep. Your encounter card is a haunting night gaunt. Hey, you get a uh you get My a favorite. Enemy to kill. <laughs> So it's a hunting it, it's a hunter. While attempting to evade haunting night gaunt, double the negative modifier of each revealed chaos token. So Ew. The, well, you can just kill it though. Yeah. I mean your B cop can Oh wait, it has four health. Never mind. That's what I was looking at. I was like, it's, I I'm sure I can kill it. Thank you for believing in me, Nelson, <laughs> but that's chunky. <laughs> okay, so this guy's sitting here. And then mine is on the wings of darkness. Test feet four. If you fail, take one damage and one horror. Then disengage from each non night gun enemy engaged with you and move to a central location. Yikes. I mean, the one damage and one horror is not awful. Um, on the wings of love. <laughs> okay, so I. That's what I thought immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go one to four. Okay. This one. No. Minus three. Place a doom on the agenda. Oh, didn't you do one to four? Yeah, like I had one and my thing was four. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie says your daily PSA for why getting a weapon on turn one is ideal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did try. So I take <laughs> one damage and one horror. I'm gonna put the one horror on uh, Granny, mm -hmm. and then I move to a central location. 
Oh, I'm not. I'm I'm the old guy. I'm that old man. <laughs> okay. So what do we think we're doing now? So you took the last clue token, right? I did, yeah. Oh, but we have to do an action to can you No, it's a it's a, reveal... it's a quick action. It's a quick action. Oh, so it doesn't like because I'm engaged with the monster? Yeah, I, I will draw it and if it's a monster then we'll figure out what to do at that point. Well, because if it's not, if you can move off, I have elusive that I can at least move away from this guy this turn. Okay. It or I can just fight him because honestly, I feel very confident. I love that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me do the encounter card, and then that actually go go ahead and fight him first, because I'm not sure if the encounter card could it may modify something and make it harder. Okay, that's so, true. So that's let's true. let's let's make blood on the altar. Let's let's give it a reason for its name. Okay, I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Because I think I only have to attack it twice, maybe, if I use the B-Cop. So, I'm going to add Vicious Blow to this attack. Love. I will yes. take yet yes. another damage to use Sophie. Okay. And then... So, I'm at... I mean, this is so much anyway. I'm at 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to 3. Okay. I like, I like those odds. Ah! Minus three. Nice. Okay. So I exactly get it. And it, then it, I yeah, yeah. Um, I did vicious blow, so it takes two damage. Nice. Okay. Two left. Okay. And now if my next attack is successful, I can just use the B cop. Although I could just attack three times to save my B cop for later. But we'll your B cop also about... doesn't get discarded anymore. He stays around. Yeah. He takes a damage though and he only has three health. Yeah. And um, it is a quick action. It's not a Oh, action. that's true. So that's true. Okay, so I'll attack a second time, and okay, I can't so, use so, Sophie anymore. So, real, I'm sorry, real quick. Uh, did you already draw this round or this phase? No. Okay. What do you so, mean? Draw from the bag or draw a card? From taking a damage. I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I was. Yeah. My suggestion was to be B cop to do the damage to draw to maybe get like another card that would help you. But you're good. Yeah, you're good. I already did. Also, uh, George says, Meg, when do you not feel confident? You've got the confidence of a god. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, Maddie said the night god picked up three humans. Holy crap, it was hitting the gym. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's a hungry night god, is what <laughs> yeah, it because is. The, the art is the night god just like carrying you to a central location. And I have Amazing. Granny and Dr. Christopher, as well as Charlie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are, like, all holding on to each other's hands. <laughs> Alrighty. Put this night right. in its place. So, I don't want to use Sophie again, so I'm testing it a six. Okay. I'm considering getting rid of Taunt to have it be a seven. So, I think there's only... Actually... I think there's only I don't know how one many... minus four in the deck or in the bag. But so... even minus three at me, right? No, if you're at a six, okay. it's only at a three. Your your target is a three. Okay. So, then yeah. Yeah, so if you toss that, you're preventing one out of like fifteen. Right, right, right. So it's like I don't know if that's worth okay. it. Okay. Let's go for it. You're gonna draw um... minus four. I feel it. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> This one, minus three. Nice. So we are exactly golden again. I've grabbed this one. I feel like I keep jumbling it around, trying to grab somewhere different, and I've grabbed this one like three times now. I think there are a couple of those in there. I think we add those oh, that's in when true. we do bad things. And yeah, so... we might have multiples. <laughs> okay, so that was a third damage on it. Mm -hmm. So now I could beat cop, or I could just attack again to save health on the beat cop. And I could beat cop if I miss. Try why don't you B cop and move over to Bishop's Brook so you can start gaining resources again? You think so? You want me to move away from you? I'm I'm in the middle now. The my treachery moved me oh, up. Oh yeah, you to got pushed center. back. Yeah. So, but I am connected. So, mm. somebody who knows the rules better than I do in chat, I can activate this quick action on Osborne's general store even if I'm not at it. Correct. Like I don't need to be. 
no one you don't need to be at the general store to reveal the card i don't believe well i could just do it anyway oh that's true that's true yeah yeah. All right, so I will do the beat cop. So it exhausts him and takes a damage to deal a damage. And that kills. And then I will fast action to see what this thing is. Because then I still have an action as well. Yep. I could sorted elusive and away. silent. Attach sorted and silent to your location. At the end of each round, each investigator at the attached location takes one horror. When the agenda advances, discard sword and silent. So I would highly okay. recommend you get the heck out of yeah. there. Yeah, and I certainly can. So I will... You think I should go to the Bishop's Brook because you're going to go there? Yeah, I'm going to go down there and then I think I may play a medical student which can heal a damage and a horror from you. Ooh. Okay, yeah. I will go there. Okay. So Bishop's Brook is the one with the Shroud of three. Each okay, enemy at one. Bishop's Brook deals plus one horror while it is attacking. Yikes. Ooh. If there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath Bishop's Brook. And that has two. Okay. Two clues. Uh, Nelson, both yeah. of them have a shroud of three. Uh, it's. So you just said it. It has two clues. Do both of them have, two, both clues? have two clues? <laughs> um. But yeah, it's the each enemy one. So yeah, I got you. It was actually not the one that I had there. Ooh, yeah, the other bishop's brook is tough. <laughs> I didn't so even the Dunwich it. Hicks staring holes at you equals one horror. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty, so on my yeah. turn, I'm gonna come down for one action to Bishop's Brook. Um. I'm gonna save the medical students. Play for later. Um. Because I'm going to see if I can get both of these clues. And then if I can get both of the clues, we can get out of there. Because I don't want to be taking the horror. Yeah. We're, we're crushing it. We're doing great. So far. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So let's go. It's a shroud of three. I'm testing three. Let's go five. And we're going to perception. So we're going to go seven to three. Yeah. Zero. Let's go. So I get to draw a card, which is a look what I found. I get a clue. And Dr. Christopher gets me a resource. Nice. Go team. Then we are going to go three, four, five to three. And that'll be, yeah, we'll go five to three. Okay. Minus two. Let's go. Okay. Wow. So that's that third clue. Amazing. Clearing that out. And that's going to end the turn. I think we sit here and mm -hmm. we reveal that next turn because we can't do anything with it right now. Yeah. And I realized my treachery, I can spend two actions to get rid of it. So I should probably do that next turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm fun hanging out and I can do emergency cash and get rid of psychosis. Sweet. Sweet. I like it. What okay. is our hand limit again? Eight? Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. I'm at six, so we're okay. Sweet. Okay, so no enemies because Meg did her job. How? <laughs> Unexhaust. <laughs> get some money and a card. Ooh, rise to the occasion. Let's go. Nice to get money again. <laughs> <laughs> I got my upgraded vicious blow. Okay. Is that which one is that? If the skill test is successful during an attack, this attack deals plus one damage or plus two damage if it succeeds by two or more. Nice. And my nice. bite is a five with six with my beat cop. So Let's go. yes. Yeah. We're strong. Strong. <laughs> okay. One doom. We're at four out of six doom on the agenda. And then mm -hmm. your encounter card. Eager for death. Revelation test or brain two. Increase the skill test difficulty by one for each damage on you. If you fail, take two horror. Okay, I'm absolutely failing this. <laughs> I don't it's have how anything. much? Brain two. It, and so then, it's actually brain six. Because you have four <laughs> damage on you? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> and I have psychosis, so I'm gonna take another damage from this. <laughs> Which will flip Sophie, right? Uh, 
Yeah, it will. Uh, so negative two, so obviously I fail anyway. So what happens to me, Nelson? You I take, take two horror. Two horror, which I'm going to put on my Elder Sign amulet. Okay, nice. But after you take one or more horror, take one direct damage. And then, yeah, so I'm going to have to take the damage, flip Sophie, and should I draw a card? Why not? Yeah. Okay. You've seen most Great. of your, or you've seen all but one of your treacheries now, so. Yeah, and I haven't gotten a weapon yet or much healing, so yeah. we're in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I needed another clue from the second Dr. Christopher last time. Okay. My encounter card is on the wings of darkness. Dang it. It's the same thing. Test feed four. If you fail, take one damage and one horror. <laughs> Uh, then disengage from each night gaunt and fly back to the middle. Um, oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so I'm at feet one. I can go rise to the occasion to go feet four. I can exhaust exhaust for feet six. I have elusive that I don't mind discarding that to add one for you. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I have like thing. seven cards right now. Okay. Let's do that just because last time it wasn't that big of a deal because I was immediately connected. But now that we're at Bishop's mm -hmm. Brook, I, I'm not. We're separated, I, it take, yeah. yeah, it would take too many actions to get back into the loop, I think. So I'm going to do Rise to the Occasion. I'm going to exhaust Christopher, which allows me to then use Granny if I need to. So I'm going to go one, mm -hmm. four, five to four. And then you're. Is that including the one for me? No. Yeah. So six to four. I also have a Lucky if I need it. Okay. Minus one, Nelson. Minus one. Let's go. Okay. We are doing great. Whew. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> That's exciting. All right. And we're currently now at the four doom. We're at four. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to reveal this card. Yes. Sounds first, good to I, me. Actually, first off, I'm going to spin two. I'm going to play a medical student, which is going to heal you one damage and one horror. Yeah. Sophie's back. Yeah. And then I'm going to reveal the card. Because if it's an enemy, I, I want you to have Sophie. Yes. Test She's brain a good girl. three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. That's less good. Um, okay. So I'm at a two brain. I'm going to go plus two. So four brain. Um, yeah, I'll go four brain. Okay. Four to three. Zero. Let's go. Let's oh, go. We're doing great. <laughs> nice. Yay. Nice. <laughs> I was very scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So that was one. I'm going to move up to the burned ruins, which is the one that is a two, three. Okay. Two, three. Sweet. I just want to make sure the other one isn't also... Nope, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, okay. Uh, wow. So this says, after you fail a skill test while investigating at the Burned Ruins, flip one clue token on the Burned Ruins to his Doom side. Ooh, no gross. Clues. Yeah. Don't love that. So, it's only a Shroud of Two. Once it's on the Doom side, does that... It goes to the agenda, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm also like, we haven't found anything we're supposed to find yet. <laughs> right. So it's going to be the last two. <laughs> it was in my first playthrough, it was the last two. So oh I'm hoping to avoid that again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and search. So I've got one, two, three, four, five to two. I've also got a lucky and a look what I found. All right. All right. I believe in you. Plus one. Wow. I think that's the first plus we've drawn in a very long time. <laughs> the Doom Wow, I was like surprised. I was like pluses are in this bag. <laughs> <laughs> um Maddie says that the Doom does not go onto the agenda. You just count it for the threshold. Okay, got it. Mm. Cool. Good 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 point. Good point. Yeah. And that, either way it's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. And that was my three. <laughs> that was my three. Okay. All right. So real quick, I might have a lame real, turn. Real yes. quick, the the company that does all of the tokens that I have just announced that they're mm -hmm. doing like a 
uh, a action tracker, which is like a cool like double thing that you like rotate to count your. I'm so excited for it. I want it. Ooh. I want it. And then I, I I got these. I splurged and for Marvel Champions, I got like this like city landscape that like is mag- magnetized and it Those holds, are like, cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And so those are really cool. There's just a ton of these that. <laughs> yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and is it Nelson? I think I even remember this. It's Leo DeLuca. He gives you an extra action. Yes. Okay. Well, we got to find him then. Yes. Where is he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's very useful. Yes. All right. So Ooh, I get a I... from Dr. Christopher. I need to remember that. I wish I had some healing, but I don't. It's starting so, in the house. Welcome to Nelsonville. Little, nice accessories. Thanks, Sestari. How you doing? Uh, Nelson. Yo. And other people in chat that might also know. I have moment of respite. It okay. says heal three horror. Can I heal one off of Mark and two off of my Elder Sign amulet? I don't believe so. It would have to be. Can I heal off the Elder Sign amulet at all? I don't believe so. Okay. By Mexico. Right, I'll wait till there's 50 more. Sec- <laughs> seconds as <says> George. <laughs> Mid turn. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna spend two actions to get rid of psychosis. Okay. And I'm at seven cards, so I'm okay not playing one yet. So I could either play emergency cash or just move up to you. I think move up to me because of the yeah. detriment of this guy or the enemies doing a lot of damage. In case, oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Let's go. Okay, I'll run up to you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And that's my turn. Love it. Meg's camera's about to die. When is it going to happen? Okay, so we have no enemies. So we're going to unexhaust everybody. We're going to gain a resource and a card. Give me a good guts. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, I drew my machete. Nice. Good. Machete. George, yeah, are you wrong? I don't know. I don't know, George. Maybe you're off by seconds. It's I think it's 29 minutes and... 59 seconds, I think. 59 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so you might be off by like 60 seconds, I think, maybe? I think it's in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Oh, so close. That would have been so close. <laughs> that was really close. It scared me when it happened. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that was <laughs> Okay, we're gonna add a doom. We're gonna add a doom to the threshold. Your encounter card. <laughs> Your encounter card is a whipper will. So this is aloof hunter. Each investigator at the whipper's little location gets minus one to all their stats. This is showing up at our location. Since it is aloof, it uh you have to spend an action to engage it. That's it's just not engaged with anybody. I do have taunt, which is fast. Sweet. Okay. And then mine is another Whippoorwill. Okay. So we're going to oh, let no. you go first. They only have one damage. So. Oh, so I could just ping one with the beat cop. <laughs> yeah. Maddie. Hey, it's the little bastards who are eager for death. I hate these Whippoorwills. <laughs> I hate them so much. Oh, so the thing I was just thinking, uh, George, is that I wonder if you were counting it from when it turned off and not when I turned it back on. Mm, mm-hmm. Because if it went off at uh, 140, but I didn't go up and press the button for like that 60-ish seconds, maybe that's what it was. Yeah. All right, Nelson, what's your... Oh, no, you drew a whippoorwill as well. Okay, you want me to just blow these up? Yeah, do it. (laughs) Just, do you have dynamite right now? Like, just... No. (laughs) Self-sacrifice. But I am dynamite. (laughs) That's true. Um, So they only have one health? All right, so I'll do a damage because I want to be able to use the machete, but that's only if, oh no, if it's the only enemy engaged with me. Either way, I don't want to have to engage both. Is B cup dealing damage to someone engaged with you? No, it's just an enemy at my location. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'll deal a damage to him and exhaust him to ping one. Love that. And then I can play cards before I attack it because... It's yeah. not engaged with me, right? Yep. All right. So I will... Ooh, card economy. This isn't... Oh, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. So I will play pay three to play my machete. Nice. 
Um, and I have to engage it to be able to fight it, or is it just yes. that I could hurt you? No. Yeah, so I, I looked that up because there I was confused about the air rule after the last time we played. Since it's aloof, you have to engage it to fight it. Okay, so taunt is fast, so I think this is fine. Because this the beat cop is also a fast action, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so I did beat cop, played machete. I'm now going to play emergency cash to get three more resources. Nice. And then... I will play taunt, which is fast, to engage one of them, or the only one left. And then for my third action, which is actually like my fifth action, <laughs> I will hopefully kill it. it so you, you I'm not gonna use Sophie. Yeah, I'm I'm already at a five, six, seven. <laughs> I believe in you. As long as I don't fail. I believe in you. Minus one. There you go. <laughs> nice. Get rid of that whipper will. Yep, and I actually did two damage to it, so Ooh, not so to brag. It's, so it's uber dead. <laughs> I love killing things. Why am I like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so on my turn, I'm going to... I'm, I'm at three, four, five to two... I'll go five to two on the burned ruins. Okay. Let's clear. Minus one. Let's go. We're fine. I will go five to two on the burned ruins again. Do the clue tokens mean anything in this one? Do we know yet? Uh, not like that we're we've just seen. acquiring them a little bit. Yeah, not that we've seen. Just that once they're emptied, oh, then we can yeah. we can do our thing. All right. So you're doing it again? Yep. Uh-oh. Minus two. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Yes. So. And are you doing it a third time? Did you start off with investigating? Uh, So last turn, I gained one. Oh, uh -oh. I got one, so. So you got the last one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going Beautiful. to. Actually, I get two resources from that. So flush with cash, I guess. And money, money. Yes, thank you, Maddie. Thank you. And then I'm going to just gain one more resource. Nice. So I don't really want to draw a card. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to draw a card right now. Because if I draw a card right now, I could kill all of my all of my peeps, and I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> so no enemies, because you're doing your job. Mm, Unexhaust. Mm, 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 draw a mm. card. Into bandages. Now we're talking. And gain a resource. Bandages is the one that can heal you once you take a damage. So Oh beautiful. Yeah. I drew my cult, which I don't really need, but I'm happy to have it. Nice. Nice. Uh oh. We have reached the threshold for Doom. the agenda. Doom. It's okay. Do you wanna read one B? The back? Yes. Whipper rolls gather along the gambrel roofs of Dunwich and begin to shriek in jubilation. The people of Dunwich believe that the presence of the whipper wills foreshadow somebody's imminent death. Do they long for your death, or is the victim someone else? If there are three or more potential sacrifices, choose one of them at random and place it underneath the agenda deck without looking at it. Don't do okay. it, Nelson. Don't do it. No, don't do it. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. All right, and the new agenda is the old one's hunger. As the sun sets, the frightened townsfolk retreat into their homes and lock their doors. It is clear that many of them know more than they are letting on. A sickening feeling turns over in your stomach as the village's true nature becomes clear. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, creepy, yucky, bad people. <laughs> All right, and before we do our encounter cards, I'm going to... Take a little High break grade. so I can go get some more uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. So nice. <laughs> I'll see you all here in just a second. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you for allowing me to take that quick break. <laughs> mm -hmm. Running out of Dr. Pepper is never a good thing. <laughs> I did also <laughs> hydrate, but uh, especially from all my travels and all of the planes, I've just been drinking an entire liter of seltzer right now. Love that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Master Ryan, how you doing? Hope you are doing well as hope you are doing well as well. Mm. Mastermind, this is Professor Meg from Professor Meg as well as Camp Co-op. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a board vendor. 
and a board venture. <laughs> now that you have a new drink, hydrate. So everyone drink. <laughs> Thank you, George. So salts are so good. Yeah. Sometimes it just makes you <laughs> drinking water. It's one of those things where like I forget to drink water, and then when I do, I'm like, wow, I feel a lot better immediately. <laughs> Good. So, Nelson, this is me being random. Have you had lunch yet today? I have, yes. What did you have? What did I have? So, um, funny story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the most random thing I could ask you midstream. <laughs> um, no, so I, I was editing a video before we hopped on, and I realized that it was like 1220 and I hadn't eaten yet. And mm -hmm. I was like, I, well, I need to eat before. And so, like, I go downstairs and, like, we're like, uh oh, like, everything that we have takes at least, like, 30 minutes to cook. I was like, I don't have 30 minutes. And so, what I did is I had, like, peanut butter, um, like a peanut butter roll thing. And then my wife made me a parfait. So, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> what about you? That's what really you nice. Have? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I, I literally. I, we got on here for, like, maybe 12.45-ish, and I got up around, like, 11.45. Nice. So I got up, did some things, but I was having coffee, and, like, unless I have, like, breakfasty foods, there's some foods I could, but I didn't have much food in the house because I've been away, that there's nothing I could really eat that I think would have gone with coffee. So I'm craving tuna, which I think I have almost every Friday when we stream, <laughs> yeah. but I'm already thinking about it, so that's why I was like, what did you have for lunch? I want to know the yummy stuff because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, George, I don't think I'll snack, sadly, because I don't have many snacks. I think I'll wait until <laughs> post-stream, sadly. <laughs> okay. So we're adding counter cards. Your encounter card. Hey, you got a mobster. So okay. this is a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Forced after a mobster att attacks you, lose one resource. He's shaking you down. Aww. But that that looks like the perfect target for a machete. If I have ever seen one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. And then my I'll guy, do that thing where I cut off his head, but like at the mouth part. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I have the O'Bannon thug. So we've got we've got all of the uh the O'Bannon gang hanging out. While the O'Bannon wow. thug is engaged with you, I cannot gain resources. Gross. They're so mean. Maybe I have another taunt, so maybe I can kill mine than yours. Okay. That, and then, yeah, and then we can flip up the card under and then figure out what our life mm -hmm, looks like. Mm -hmm. I like it. How's the game going? Are you winning? We're actually doing very well for, yeah. Yeah. So this is probably the first time I feel actually confident. Like, there are other <laughs> times that we've done well, but it felt like we were really working for it. This time I'm feeling like a little cocky. <laughs> yeah. We've only lost. <laughs> 25% of the human sacrifices today. So, I mean, it's not too bad so far. <laughs> um, So, do you want me to start attacking? <laughs> Successful. No one wins any game related to Arkham Horror. You only go insane or die eventually. That is very, very true. Yeah. Yeah. Because the thing is, is even if you survive through it, after all the horrors you've seen, it's like Frodo trying to deal with the ring. Like, the <laughs> ring got destroyed, but he could yeah. not handle it. Yeah. That will, that will be us. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the good luck. Yes, I want you to <laughs> go ahead and start attacking. <laughs> yes, I want you to kill them, please. <laughs> Alright, so, because only one is engaged with me at the moment, uh, I will use my machete, so I'm just going to straight up attack for five, six, seven, Ooh. and it will do two damage if I hit. Beautiful. Plus one. Let's go. Dead. D-E-D. -D. Dead. Alright. And then I will dead. play Taunt. And engage the other one and do the same dang thing. These guys thought they could show up and I just like double knife them. Minus one. I don't even care. Doesn't matter. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And I still have an action left, which Let, do I. Wanna, do you want to flip up this card underneath just in case? Oh, because it's a fast action? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Could I go three for three in one round? It's okay. So the last two cards are what we're looking for. <gasps> Son of a biscuit. Assuming I shuffled them correctly, actually. So. <laughs> oh no! Imagine. <laughs> imagine if none of them are. <laughs> if, if I if I didn't shuffle them correctly, those last two cards are the ones we are looking Have for. To be. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, Psycho Pump's song. 
Um, so this surges, and it's peril. I cannot help you with this. Oh no. Um, add Psychopon Song to any investigator's threat area. When you would take one or more damage, take two additional damage and discard Psychopomp Song. Um, I think that's probably gonna be best on me. Can you take actually, it? Actually, I'm sorry. Um, you can add this to any investigator's threat area. I cannot help you. I can, I cannot talk to you about this. So. Oh my gosh! No, Nelson. We don't feral. have to play like that. <laughs> we can break the rules. I can add it to your thing. Yeah, you add it to any investigator's threat area. And what does it do again? Uh, whenever you take one dam one or more damage, you take two additional damage, and then you discard this card. <laughs> You're like, I can't help you, but you did say you could take it, but I feel so mean being like, yeah, you take it. <laughs> With a surge, there's also a surge that's going to happen? Yes. And that will happen to me? Yes. I guess I'll give it to you, Nelson. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think that's the right call. That feels so mean. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because if we're doing our job right, I'm not taking a lot of damage. Right, right. right? You're, you're, you're not attacking. You're the one who's probably going to be more in danger, and right. I can, I have the bandages in my hand, so I can save some of that if I need to. Okay, um, or if I can you pass say it so. Out to, or I can pass it out to my my peeps. The surge. That feels so mean. No, you're fine. Um, so surge on hallowed country. So put on hallowed country into play in your threat area. You cannot play ally assets. Treat the printed test box of each ally asset you control as if it were blank. And at the end of your turn, test brain three. If you succeed, discard on hallowed country. Okay. So you still right, have one so action. That, I still have an action, yeah, because that was my fast action. So I could move off, but is that bad? No, I think... I think going up to the church is probably good because I because I'm we definitely know yeah and I'm gonna go to the church and it's gonna be nice to stick together yeah and we know it won't be bad but like it can't be a monster now correct yeah it's either the key or the secret passage or as which like maybe that could attack you but I don't think they will <laughs> I, I um if, if someone had seen it before that they don't <laughs> okay yeah I will move up to the church. This is the church that's a two one, or it's a two shroud, one investigator per. Um, okay. Or one token per investigator, and then as an action, we can choose and discard a card from your hand to gain two resources, nice. and then we can draw if there's no clues. This place isn't scary at all. <laughs> right. I'm fine being here. <laughs> yeah, no boost from beat cop anymore. So yeah, now uh, now you test brain three. But I moved out. Unhallowed Country is connected or is in your threat area. It's like yours. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought it was on the location. Okay. Well, that means for me to get rid of it. I can't use Sophie, though. Is there anything I can commit to it? I could, but I don't want to. I mean, my brain is already, my brain is just a three. So it's not great. So what I could do, Nelson, which I feel like is a bad call, but I want you to confirm it's a bad call. Okay. I have this moment of respite, which I really, I like this card a lot. It says play only if there are no enemies at your location, heal three horror and draw a card. Um, but I only have one horror on me and I only have two resources that I could end up using it next turn, but I don't know. So should I just use it to commit to the test? Um, I think... Go even on the test, and then next turn, you when can you, help. yeah, I think I can help next turn. Okay. All and right. Maddie brings up a good point. It's it could be worse because you treat all of the allies. So like Charlie is just like, yeah, that would, that would yeah. be rough for Charlie. And I guess next turn, um, I can try to heal in between and then use Sophie for it too. Yeah, I also have a gust okay. that I can commit, so I, I can give you plus two next turn. Okay, this says minus one for each location in play with no encounter card underneath it. Ugh, yes. so it is minus four, right? Or minus three. Minus four, yeah. because the village comments too. 
Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So I super fail. That's fine. Yeah. At least nothing bad happens from it. I mean, the bad thing is currently happening, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm going right. to move up to the church for one action. I'm going to spend two resources to play bandages. Lovely. And then I am going to... I got no reason to not just go crazy with this. Um, I'm testing two. I have three, four, five. Wow. Six, seven. Wow. Seven to two. I got the skull one again. Minus four. So minus four. So we're good. I good, good. So we get this and I get a resource from uh, Christopher. Yay. Woo. And are you going to do it again? Uh, that was my third action. I Instead uh -oh. of searching again, I went ahead and played bandages just so that we have that safety oh, yeah, net yeah, yeah. out there. Yeah, that's true. I wasn't counting. <laughs> and we are unexhausting because no enemies. Okay. Let's go. Drawing a card. Another look what I found. Gaining a resource. All right. I got emergency aid so I can heal now. See, we're doing great. Now I can heal and use Sophie and get rid of that thing. Nice. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're doing fine. We are doing absolutely We're doing fine, fine. honestly. <laughs> okay, so we got one here on the main. Your card is test brain three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. Um, okay. Well, that's fine, because I have that heal three horror, horror card still. Okay, perfect. So I don't even mind if I don't get it, but it's testing three. Yes. All right, and I'm not going to be able to block that, so it's just a straight three for three. Oh my god, I got the critical. Let's go! It doesn't do anything extra, because mine does extra damage, but... But you pass. Passed. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Feeling great. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Fallen Craig. Fallen Craig. Your name, for some reason, is like this... Like super red, like it's just the contrast between the black from Twitch and your name color is just really hard for me to see for some reason. So, <laughs> hi, we are. I think I think we are winning as much as you can win in an Arkham Horror game. I feel I'm hoping the only thing I'm hoping is that one of those people went under that card. So now I'm pretty sure one person got sacrificed. It's and right. it, it is weighing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got a hunted down. If there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, hunted down gains surge. So, in surge. Surge is into ancient evils. Place one doom on the current agenda. Uh oh. Uh oh. Minus one. There's turn. two on it. There's two on it now. Yeah. Okay. Now it's now it's our turn. Okay. Um, I think. <laughs> let me go first because I think we want to end up in That's house what I was in the reeds. And yeah. I want to end up I want you to end your turn where I am. So right. I can help. Yeah. Agree. So let's uh let's start off by um I'm gonna go five to two on okay. this this uh investigation. I believe in us. I do. Uh minus two. Let's go. So I get that clue and I get a resource. Well, let's Woo! go ahead and use the fast action to grab this. So this is the hidden chamber. Put hidden chamber okay. into play. Hidden chamber and the location from which it was drawn are connected to each other. The door to the hidden chamber is locked. You cannot enter unless you have the key. Okay. Hidden chamber. Second action, I'm going to move down to a house in the reeds. Uh, after House in the Reeds is revealed, search the encounter deck for a night gaunt enemy and spawn it at the village commons. Oh, it's got okay. a long way to go to get to us. That's cool. Yeah. Good uh, luck, guy. <laughs> and it comes in with two. This is the one, 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 right? Yeah. One, Location? one, one, one. Yeah. Yep. Comes in with two. Is there a night gaunt enemy? There's one. I'm just seeing if mm -hmm. there are multiple nope it it is just the same thing that you already killed nice so it's, it's the one with four health right yeah and it's I mean, either way it'll take a while yeah because it has to go down to bishop's brook first and then all the way up to us 
but in case if there's something bad in the hidden chamber we i don't necessarily want to deal with the night gaunt and it at the same time right and okay last action because i got one more i think we're just gonna go and try and get one of these clues um so i'm at five to one wow <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's this one, so minus four. So you still get it? Or is okay. it minus five now? It's minus four. I think, it's oh, no, it's a max of four. Max of four, Perfect. yeah. All right. Really and more resources. Let's go. All right. That's my turn. Do we think I should even try to get the last clue? I could play a flashlight. Um... Focus on building out, because with Dr. Christopher, I get rewarded if I get the clue. Oh, okay. Oh, so, that's true. You get the resource. Yeah. Um. And you want me to come to you? Because I could just kind of heal here, because it doesn't seem like a scary place, but encounters could make it scary for you. That's true. You Can could... you help me? The benefit to coming down is I have a plus two to help with your... Um, your test that you're gonna have to take here. Should I... Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> I just yeah, the unhallowed country. Okay, um, I will move down to you. Okay, I'm going to play emergency aid to heal myself for two. Nice, nice. And it costs me two. And yeah, I think I should do. So I moved. I healed. I could just gain a resource for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just in case there's any big bad monsters, it may be nice to have enough money to pay for a dynamite if you draw it. Yeah. And I do have like, I have like, if it bleeds and stuff to like help with little bits or yeah. I could end up putting my Colt into play if I need it. Okay. okay. Even though the machete is better, but this is also helpful. Um. Yeah. So I'll gain a resource. And then I will test for the test. So I will take a damage, draw a card. I'm going to heal that I damage. drew my other beat cop. Nice. And I heal and now I damage. don't mind killing this one. Um, oh, you heal me right away for it? Yep. I forgot about that. Oh, it's so good, Nelson. <laughs> I actually right, may so I'm spend three. a... I may spend an experience point to just get a second copy of bandages. I don't think I realized how good that was going to be when I put it in my deck. Yeah. And so, like... Just spending one, yeah, it, just having another one in here is just incredible synergy that I, I probably will go ahead and just grab another copy of that. Okay. I'm All gonna right. commit a I'm gust testing. to it. So plus two. You're committing? Yep. Yay. So I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, seven to three. Yeah. No whammies. This guy, minus two. So we're great. Perfect. And I get it. Absolutely great. Burn Lovely. Uh oh. If you control no ally assets, um, otherwise, for each ally asset you control, either exhausted or deal one direct damage and one direct horror. Okay, so Dr. Christopher and Granny die. Wait, where did that come from? I drew a card from uh, Guts. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, <sighs> so they die. I will just go ahead and exhaust medical student. Oh, wait. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think it's hilarious. I've been like tracking the tokens that I have one clue token and you have what, four, nine? I have nine, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Like the two piles next to each other are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. On Hello Country's gone, though. So that That's nice. good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now draw a card. Hey, a flashlight. That'll be useful. Gain a resource? Mm hmm And on exhaust. Top of All the right. round. We're gonna go do feeling powerful. Feeling incredible. We're gonna go Let's doom. go. <laughs> You've got a mobster to take care of. Okay. And that's fine. I've got the poor guy, honestly. Hey, it's been twenty nine minutes and fifty nine seconds. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay. So I have kidnapped. So test brain four or feet four. If you fail, add any add an ally asset you control to the pool of sacrifices. Okay, so I um what kind of test is it? It's a brain test. I can add two if you want me to. I don't care. I want to save everyone. I'll get rid of that moment of respite now to save them if you need it. It's it's just the medical student. So honestly, it'd be nice to keep med students. I could go three. You know what? It's probably best to save the med student. So I will test three. If you add two, that goes to yeah. five to four. Then I have a lucky if we need it. Oh my gosh, you're testing five to four. Five to four. Nelson, I'm scared. <laughs> Auto Nelson. <laughs> okay. This is where it goes downhill. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> I I have zero allies now. Uh oh. I can't believe this is what I drew. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> to the pool of potential sacrifices. <gasps> no. <laughs> where are my sleeves? <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that's upsetting. I don't like it one bit. This to the sleeves. When the attached agenda advances, choose a potential sacrifice at random and place it underneath the agenda deck. Goodness. Okay. So. Actually, this hunting night gun is actually down here at Bishop's Brook now, because it 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 hunted one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Ugh. I'm gonna probably draw two cards and hopefully get an ally, just because okay, I need yeah. to start building back up. Yeah, so I agree. I'm gonna draw a card, which is ooh a chance encounter. Beautiful. That's the one where you get to draw a bunch, right? Well, no, I get to uh, choose an ally like you draw a discard lot of pile. To... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Isn't there one that you reveal, like, the top nine or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I still think I'm going to draw a... another card. Oh, yeah, there's another Christopher. Okay. That's actually great, because I was debating on either putting Christopher into play or uh, Granny into play, and I drew a Christopher, mm -hmm. so I will put granny into play i have one more action left i'm going to spend three four resources to play a chance encounter and grab granny orn nice yeah i'm happy with that so that's my three turns okay now the thing i'm engaged with it has two health yep hmm. doesn't stand a chance I know, I'm like, I, I could end up killing my beat cops with it, but I think I'm not going to do that. I will oh, just, just... Yeah, just machete, machete it. Thing. Just machete it. Alright, so I'm attacking with a 5, 6, 7. <laughs> and what like is you're it? about to count off into a, a dance routine. <laughs> 5, 6, five, seven, six eight. 7, 8. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 1. GG's. Okay. Alright. And you think I should stay here this turn? Um, can you get that clue? I can try. I think I should. It's only a one, right? It's only a one, yeah. I mean, I'm only a two, but I could use Sophie. Um, I also, yeah, I'm going to commit a two. Are you sure? Because I could just use Sophie. Actually, I have the flashlight, too. So the thing that, oh, yeah, yeah, do the, I'm still going to commit the two because... We've seen all the locations, and there's this is the last clue that we can get. The one that I am right. committing, um, it's an helps event that, that helps you find clues. Okay. Um. Well, then I do you think I need the flashlight? Because I could just use Sophie. No, you I think I'd rather light. use Sophie. Well, because then I can save my resources to play another beat cop later. Because they cost oh, four oh, to put. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you had the flashlight on the table. No, no, no. I would have yeah, to play it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so if I take the damage now, it'll ping your bandages. Yeah. I will do that and use Sophie. 
And I now have a shortcut to get up there quicker next time. Nice. Um, so I'm testing at six. Six you to one. Two, four. Yep. Six to one. Should be good, right? Woo! Minus three. Doesn't even matter. Nice. I don't even care. Mark Harrigan is so <laughs> anticipatory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that key with the fast action. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Uh, take control of the key of the chamber. If the key of the chamber is connected to your location, attach key to the chamber to the hidden chamber. Yay! You got that. Um, and then I still have one more action. And I have shortcut that I could use that to get up to the church if I really wanted to. I'm just realizing now how thematic it is that the chamber to the ritual place is through the church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just hitting me. <laughs> That's pretty great. We should have gone there first. We should have known. Yeah. Um. Do we want to do that? If I feel you... like that's fine to wait till next turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I will just gain a resource. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I think that's good. Okay. So enemy phase, Night Gaunt's going to come up to the Burned Ruins. Now we are unexhausting, drawing a card. Hey, there's Leo getting money. Leo! Our favorite! Yes. I got another emergency aid. So I can actually heal my current beat cop if I wanted to. I'm only at two damage and one horror. Nice. Nice. We're doing great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though we failed that one thing, I, I, I hope it has to happen. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh. And, oof. and we got one here on the main. Your encounter card. Eager for death. Test brain two. Increase the skill test difficulty by one for each damage on you. If you fail, take two horror. Okay. I mean, that's honestly not the worst, but I'm at, I'm at two damage. Okay. So, so I'm testing test five. Four? Or four? Four? Yeah. Um, I could use Sophie. Yeah, I might as well. Is that going to use your bandages right away again? Yeah, it can. It doesn't have to. I'm pretty high health if we want to hold on to it. The other thing is, is that it can also save an ally. So maybe we save it for like a B cap. Yeah. I'm not that hurt right now. Yeah. And I just drew another emergency aid so I can heal myself too. Nice. Um, but I'll take a damage from that. Oh, and I just drew a first aid. So we are What's so up? healthy. Your favorite picture. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm testing, sorry, I'm testing brain. Yeah, brain. I mean, I'm only at a five. Brain four. I'm at, I'm at nine cards. When would I discard? Because I just drew from Sophie. Uh, at the end of the round, you check for discard. Because I could just commit now as well to make it a little better yeah i'll get rid of it if it bleeds because i don't super need it cool okay so now i'm at three four five six six to four and i got granny oh my gosh oh, bummer. <laughs> okay two horror <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> all right is it direct horror Okay, I'm going to kill my Elder Sign Amulet. Okay, nice. Because it had two left on it. Nice. Lovely. Now, <laughs> this one would go away, right? Or would it hold all the damage on it as like an item still on my table? No, it would go away. It would go away. Okay. All right. Okay. I've got that kidnapped. Was not bad. I got kidnapped again. And this is going to be Granny, so this is a bad no. kidnapped. So test uh, Brain 4. If you fail at an ally asset... Um, okay, so I got. I can add first aid. Okay, so I'm at. I don't even mind. Two, three, four. I, I can add yeah, one. I think we need to not lose Granny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I can only add one. So five, and then I've got a lucky if we need it. Okay. Okay, so five to four. Come on. This no, skull, which is only four. oh, it's minus four. So There's that takes no us down to one. That. Yep. Dang it. Okay, so we lose Granny. Oh my God, Nelson. No. 
<laughs> this is so bad. Yikes. <laughs> they are just taking the <sighs> allies away from me. I have a card, too, that would have let me take your thing, but I don't have it in my hand right now. Yeah. Mm. That would have been good. We have to save Granny. <laughs> Gosh. These grannies yeah, are for not real. having a good time. Killed, This grabbed, is giving me anxiety. Yeah. Oof. Not good. Not good, not good. Ugh. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the whole draw cards again. <laughs> mm. Um first I'm gonna are you cool if I go first? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I'm gonna spend six to play Leo. So I have one additional action. I'm gonna draw a card. There's my lucky. Um Two actions left. I'm going to draw a card for Dario. We have one action left. Two, four, six, seven. So I don't really want to draw a card. Um, grumble. I will... It's because if I draw a card, I'm going to have to discard a card. So I'm mm, that would not be the end of... No, I'm going to just go ahead and grab a resource. Or I'm going to move up to the church, actually. Okay. Okay. Whew. Your turn. All right. Mm -hmm. I will move up to the church. Okay. It's a quick action. You can attach the key to the hidden chamber. I will do that. Okay. And as soon as we enter the hidden chamber, we advance on the act. So. Oh, just... Okay. Yeah, that's true. And is there only one hidden chamber card? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Tight. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Act one B. What was hidden? Oh, did you go in there? You... Sorry. I was thinking that was yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, actually, Nelson, before that happens, because I was thinking it was just when it was unlocked. I did it. I, I was reading too quickly. Okay. I have uh, just before I'm gonna move up there, but before that happens, I have shortcut. I can actually move you up there because it says choose an investigator at your location. Move that investigator to a connected location. So I can move you up and then move up myself. Um, I would prefer not to be in that. Okay. <laughs> I would prefer not to. Okay, then I'm going to do that for myself as a free action. That way I have more actions up there. Okay, cool. Okay, so, okay, you so now I'll one read action. It. Yes. Cool. Okay, yeah, now, now read it. Okay. You find your way into the hidden chamber where you believe the missing folk are being held, but the horrors that confront you there fray the edges of your sanity. Bound by chains in a secluded corner of the room is an unspeakable creature with the face of a man. It wheezes and wrestles to free itself as it notices your entrance. The many months covering the creature the many mouths covering the creature's body are covered in blood and gristles of meat as though it were feeding recently. With a hideous crack, the creature speaks with seven mouths. Seth? It lurches forward as you as though you Oh my gosh, it lurches forward as though to grab you, and several of its chains snap. Reveal each unrevealed location. Move all clues in play, including those on an investigator, to the hidden chamber. Spawn the set-aside Silas Bishop enemy in the hidden chamber. Yay. So Silas is a 3, 12 health, 7 evade. He cannot make attacks of opportunity, and he's engaged with everybody at the location. He's so nasty. Yeah. Nasty guy. <laughs> All right, Act 2A, the Chamber of the Beast. The pitiful beast lurches to grab you with slimy arms, its many jaws snapping in hunger. Killing it would be merciful. But perhaps there is something else to discover about this creature. Objective, if Silas Bishop is defeated, R1. If there are no clues in the hidden chamber, advance. Cool, cool, cool. Um, also, I'm going to up our retcon one more. Instead of mm -hmm. moving, I'm going to have taken a resource because I don't want to be engaged with the hunting night gun. Okay. 
This guy has 12 health. Yeah, yeah. Or okay. we could move on by getting 11 clues. So. I think I know. <laughs> I Yeah, I think it's probably going to be easier to kill. And is he already engaged with me that if I play a card, he engages me? So he's engaged with everybody at the location, but he has a printed text saying that he cannot make attacks of opportunity. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm just going to go at him. I love that. I, I don't know what else to do, you know? That's that's yeah. the yeah, way yeah. I roll. All right, so I only moved. I have two actions, right? Yeah, you moved, shortcut, two more actions. Okay. I'm going to exhaust my first beat cop, which will kill him, to do a damage. Okay. Oh, and right. then I will put my second beat cop into play. And do it again. Nice. So two damage on him. Nice. And now I have just an attack. Um, so I will add Vicious Blow to it. Cool. I will take a damage to use Sophie. And my fight is five, six, seven, seven eight, nine three. because of Sophie. Oh, let's go. Nine. Yeah. That vicious blow is looking. I mean, did I need to do good. something? Not really, but. But if you was... succeed by X, or like by. It's more, my upgraded right? one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Zero. Let's go. Zero. So three damage. Uh, one. Wait, no, four damage because the machete does plus oh. one, and vicious blow does plus plus one. So yeah, you just four total. Half its health right there. I am Mark Harrigan, and I'm here to kill things. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> By going full on berserker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! That was fun. That was okay. That was okay. Good. So, unfortunately, it is the enemy's turn now. So Hunter's yeah. gonna hunt, and then Silas is gonna hit you for two and two. That's okay. Cool. I mean, it's not the best, but it's okay because I can heal next turn. So Sophie does flip for now, but I'll be able to heal. And you get to draw a card. Because it's oh, and I phase. well. It's a oh yeah, phase. yeah. Yes. Is it the home? I drew part? brother Xavier. No, I drew brother Xavier, but I only have one resource anyway, so I'm not like. <laughs> Maddie, yeah, man. If you just imagine if you had the home front. Uh, well, hey, I might draw it now though. Yeah. Yeah. It's still maybe coming. Okay. Okay. Um, so draw a card. Calling in favors. That's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And I drew a shortcut. Resource. Unexhaust. Yeah, unexhaust everything. And yeah, here we are. We are here. And then we get our encounters. And another yeah. doom? Yeah. One doom. Wait, so Dunwich has four. telephones? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently it may. We're at and... four. Doom, we're at five. Right? We're at five. Five. Whoops, yeah. I missed one. Okay. Okay. You That's okay. Got... I'm going to kill it this turn. I hope. You've got a whipper, Will. That's fine. That's okay. the one with one health, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got test book three. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool on your location. Two clues instead. So I will just test. I'll go one to um, whatever. Okay. The skull one, which is okay. minus four. So we put a clue on this location. Okay. okay. So that's okay. So if you can... So you can... Um... You think you can kill this thing this turn? I think I might be able to. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should draw... To try to get the home front. So if you well, if you attack three times, right, you should kill. Then it. I would just be fine. Yeah, you would kill it. And if you don't kill it, then I can go one, two. I can't. I'm not going to be able to attack it. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um. So, 
I probably should play my heal card, because if not, my tests are at minus one right now because of Sophie. Your tests are all at minus two because of the Whippoorwill, too. The Whippoorwill, I think I'm going to beat Cop Ping away. Oh, good call. Good call. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm only going to attack it twice. Which would be four damage. It's not enough, Nelson. It's not Should enough. I just do it at the minus one? I can commit cards for my hand. Actually, I, I have two. Three. I have three fists that I actually don't mind get rid of, getting rid of, so... Okay, so I'm wondering... Yeah, okay, so... The thing is, is that if we can kill him this turn, then we save three sacrifices. Right. And so I'm hoping. I, I'm trying to figure out if there's a if there's a. If I crit, I will absolutely kill him. Just saying. <laughs> that's true. We cannot hope for that, but. The other option, uh, see one two, I could attack him twice, but like I'm attacking for a one, right? So mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to hit him. I'm attacking for a zero. So I think. Let me just try attacking him three times, and we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. And then right? I think we have the Night Gaunt. Yeah, I think we have the Night Gaunt hunt me next mm -hmm. turn. And so if, if you if you don't get him, you don't get him, and that's fine. All right. So I will ding my beat cop to kill the Willer Wisp. Yeah. Whatever he is. Um... So I am just going to have my test be at minus one. So I'm still at five, six. Okay, so and I'll six commit, I can commit a card every time. Okay. So I'll be at seven. Okay. So everything right. but the auto fail has you beat it. Okay, we do the cultist dude. So we did it. We did it okay. for the first attack. So two. Yep. And then I will discard my second machete for the next attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did the skull one, which minus again is, is minus four. But you're good. But we're fine, right? Yeah. Because we're at seven. seven. Yep. 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 Don't draw and the, then. Don't draw the other fan. Don't do it. All he is prepared for the worst. <laughs> we got the skull one again. Yes. Okay. 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 I love doing damage. It's my favorite thing. Oh, in the world. oh yes. Okay. So that is enough damage. So we are. Moving on to resolution oh, one. I am so Crazy. powerful. <laughs> you saved three sacrifices by doing that. That's they awesome. killed him in two turns. Yeah, it wasn't even that close. That is nuts. I'm okay, wait, at the, just, the house and the reeds still. This is definitely over now, right? That I can draw my cards. I just want to see yeah, where home yeah, yeah. was. I only had three. I had nine cards left. Okay, it would have been first aid. No, we wouldn't have gotten it. Oh my gosh, how far down is it? There's my dynamite blast. It was my very last card. Oh, yes. So good thing we did not uh, hope for <laughs> that. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was... Wow, I'm glad we did it. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so resolution one, you want to read that? Yes, this is in the book, right? Yes. Okay. So I should skip- oh no, that's if no resolution was reached. Okay. As you land the finishing blow, the creature's body explodes into hundreds of squirming rope-like appendages, wriggling across the ground and climbing up the walls. You're so startled that you aren't fast enough to prevent them from escaping the room. Even so, whatever the creature was, you're glad it's now dead. In your campaign log, record that the investigators put Silas Bishop out of his misery. In your campaign log, under Sacrifice to Yonsathoth, Record the names of each unique card that is underneath the agenda deck. Each of those cards are removed from all players' decks and can no longer be included in any players' decks for the remainder of the campaign. So Was that's it Earl Sawyer? Okay, good. At least it wasn't your person. Yeah, but that—that's what we saved. Is by killing him that round, we would have lost Granny. We would have lost Medical Student, which is not a. Um, yeah. But we would have lost Granny, and that would—that would have been bad. We saved Granny. You saved Granny. You saved Granny. <laughs> Not my granny. <laughs> uh, did we have the Necronomicon? No, we we never we we pieced out of that 
museum mm -hmm. so quickly. <laughs> There's no chance we're finding that Necronomicon. And then each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns two bonus experience as he or she gains insight into the hidden world of the mythos. So four experience. And then proceed to interlude two, the survivors. Four experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wait, um, do we get... Oh, no, because the hidden chamber had all the tokens on it. Right. Yeah. Shucks. Well, but, that's still good. But Silas had two, so you were able... Or Either way, it would have been two. just yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So we got the survivors. Do you know where that would... Because it says proceed to interlude to the survivors. Mine's just on the next page. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Do you want me to read this one? Uh, yeah, let's switch back off. Let's switch off. Switch back and forth because I think it could be... I think we're reading a, a lot. lot right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll read through uh, Henry Armitage's because I okay. have a soft spot for him. Cool. Inside the chamber that contains the terrible beast, you find the missing townsfolk and others from Arkham. They are bound and shackled. You also find several documents that suggest the creature you found isn't the only one of its kind in Dunwich. You free the creature's victims from their bonds, and they offer you their thanks. You begin to plan your next move. Check the campaign log. For each of the following five characters who are not listed under Sacrifice to Yogg-Sothoth, Read their associated page. When you are done, proceed to scenario five, undimensioned and unseen. If Dr. Henry Armitage is not listed under sacrifice, it is far worse than we had thought, Dr. Armitage says, pale and trembling. Wilbur Waitley was, the, was only the beginning. There were more, many more in Dunwich, who knew of the great old ones and who desired power and knowledge above all else. The earth be damned. I knew I should have burned the wretched, the wretched's journal. But thanks to the contents, I knew... I know how we can stop them. We are the only ones who can. Now quickly, help me with the solution. The powder is in the key. Yes, the powder is the only way. In your campaign log, record that Dr. Henry Armitage survived the Dunwich legacy. If Dr. Henry Armitage, if the Dr. Henry Ar Armitage card is not already in an investigator's deck, any one investigator may choose to add that card to his or her deck. It does not count toward the investigator's deck size. Nice. If the powder of Ibing Gonzi card is not already in an investigator's deck. Any one investigator may choose to add that card to his or her deck if it, do it does not count toward their deck size. Cool. So the powder of Ibin Gonzi um, says that it enters play with X clues on it, where X is the number of characters who survived the Dunwich legacy in your campaign log. And as a quick action, we can move one clue from the powder of even Gazi to an exhausted brood of Yag Sahath at your location. Interesting. Make a lot more sense, I think, next game, potentially. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking that I think you should take this. The powder? Yeah. Sure. Cool. In my stuff, I'm not sure exactly where the extra cards are, but I will make sure I find them. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, uh, cool. Oh yeah, it's me. It's me. Uh, if Pro Professor Warren Rice is not listed under sacrifice to Yogg's Hahath, so Professor Rice adjusts his glasses and studies the document and arcane manuscript left in the chamber. I thought that I thought this nightmare was over and done with. He sighs, but we have a duty to see this through. We have to stop these creatures, or it won't just be done which in trouble. The powder mixture Armitage created to see if the creatures will be our saving grace. He explains and sets off to the task of her. Uh, recreating the powder. In your campaign log, record that Professor Warren survived the Dunwich legacy. If Yay. Professor Warren Rice is not already in a deck, you can add it to the deck, and then you already have the powder. Wow. And then Francis Morgan was not under... Because the only person that died was Watley, right? No, uh, was mm -hmm. Zebulon. Or Earl Sawyer. Okay. Thank you for everything you've done, Dr. Morgan says, taking count of your provisions and ammunition. Last time we needed last time we needed some of that strange powder. Armitage concocted to even see the beast that terrorized Dunwich. If there are more of those things out there, we're going to need that powder. I think I remember how he made it. Uh, in your campaign log, record that Dr. Francis, and then we can add Dr. Francis. Oh. And then, then Zebulon Watley. Uh Dunwich had its fair share of oddities, Zebulon explained to you, in a quavering voice, but I ain't ever seen anything as sick as twisted as this this thing. 
He gives the creature's remain one last sickened glance before closing the door to the chamber behind him, shuddering. He locks eyes with you, his expression grim. Whoever done this gotta pay. All I, I'll do all I can to help. In your campaign log, record that Zebulon Watley, and we can add it to the deck. Okay, so okay. we've got a couple of people. Let me go grab Armitage real quick because I don't quite. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I should. Uh, I should find them. Hmm. 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 I know I had all these guys somewhere. Hmm. How did how did we meet up to play Arkham Horror, Meg? How did we meet? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we met through the Board Ventures that I don't think I knew of you, Nelson, until you were looped in with Roberto. I'm yeah. pretty sure. It's no. been so long ago now. It yeah. was mid-COVID times. Yeah. Um, But we started doing the Board Ventures, which was like a group of, or is a group of us, that we do content together and do like uh, top games, things like that, and then like other stuff. And we have a YouTube channel. And then after that, I don't think we got to play an actual game together until Gamma? Yeah. I believe. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was Gamma, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actual playing games together, not a ton. We did a lot of talking and friendness, and then uh, we got to meet up a lot at different conventions. Um, and then Nelson actually visited me back in September where mm -hmm. we had like a week of gaming, yeah. which was very fun. That was awesome. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Okay, let's divvy, um, up, let's divvy up these allies, and I don't think that we don't have to take them. That's the other thing. Oh, I have Zebulon Waitley, so maybe they're just all right here? They are, so they are listed in, like, in the top right corner. They're in mm -hmm. different encounter sets. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I at least found Zebulon and the powder. Um, Conventions are great for that, yeah. I think some of my stuff might be a little mixed up, because I know I saw Armitage somewhere already armitage is, is in his own thing which is just like this symbol it's like a little like v yeah in my box i don't know where he is gotcha i may have to go perusing um is there anyone in particular you want uh yeah probably <laughs> uh, George, you do a lot more with allies so yeah how did the board Avengers start? I've never heard the origin story of that. Uh, Roberto got us together. Mm -hmm. Sheer boredom got us together for a game of the year. I think we did yes. like a giant uh, call or video for game of the year. And yes, that's kind of how it started. He uh, really enjoys. Um, he used to do it a bit more, and now he does it a little differently. Where he does hair when he does it, but he would do a lot of interviews with different people in the community, in the board game community. Um, and before that, he had interviewed all of us, but he just really liked all of us and decided that we wanted to do, like, top lists together. Yep. All thanks to Roberto. All oh, thanks to Roberto. Our Captain America. <laughs> okay, so... I like... Okay, so... Let's look at Dr. Francis Morgan. Mm-hmm. He has four health, one sanity. You get plus one fight. And if after you defeat an enemy, you can exhaust Dr. Morgan to draw a card. I feel like I should probably take him, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the other thing is, is you don't have to take him. Because I but think they don't count toward your deck size, right? Correct. But they do. They will count towards your ally slot. Oh, that's true. The other thing okay. to think about is that you could get a charisma. So this card. The three, mm -hmm. the three, uh, experience card that gives you an additional ally slot. Okay. Um, but so Dr. Francis Morgan, I'm gonna. These are the ones that I think work for you. I think Dr. Francis Morgan, Zebulon Watley, you get plus one brain. Uh, if you, you succeed a brain test on a treachery card, you can exhaust him to draw a card. But I think he's really good because he has a four sanity buffer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I also think Dr. Armitage works for you. Um, after you draw a non-weakness card, discard that card and gain three resources. Um, I think all three of these work well for you. I think I don't, 
I don't want from Morgan. I don't necessarily want Zebulon. I could use Armitage uh, just because of his two wild resources. So he's basically a plus mm -hmm. three to any skill test that I have. That's um, fair. But I do think I do want Warren Rice. So I get plus one book. And after you discover the last clue, I get to draw a card. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fair if we want to do two and two. Okay, that works. But if you don't want Armitage, that's up to you. No, I do. I do. Um, and then yeah. both of these goes in your deck. Um, the other thing uh, to think about is that if you don't want one of them, you do not have to take them. Because it is, you know, watering down like your deck a little available bit. Available pool now. Yeah. So if you don't think one of these is better to have in your deck, that's mm -hmm. fine. Like, I, I can slot him out scenario by scenario because he's just in my deck pool. I actually don't that know how that works. I actually have no idea how that... Sorry. I have no <laughs> idea how that works. Hmm. Hmm. Um, hmm. I think... Well, I'll definitely at least take Dr. Morgan. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I should take both because Zebulon gives me the sanity if I need it. Gives you the sanity. Yeah, and I can discard Zebulon's him. just another one of your amulet things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you could just like, then you could be a little bit more aggressive and just cycle your allies a lot more frequently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that cool. works pretty well. And I'll take the powder. Yep. And you got the powder. The powder, that one also doesn't add to my deck size, right? Correct. Yep. Correct. Awesome. Um, well, I feel like we just leveled up. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was great. That was We just excellent. saved a lot of people. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with another copy of Charisma with all of these allies <laughs> that I have. So I would have five ally slots, and that, I mean, just starts to. That's amazing. Well, I, I would have had an ally problem if all of them didn't get nuked at that one point in the, the middle of the scenario mm -hmm. today. Yeah, that was devastating a little bit. If you had <laughs> lost Granny. That would have been sad. That would have been very sad. Like, would you be able to rebuy her? No, because it says you cannot include her in your deck. Oh, that that name card in your deck. Yeah, so. That would have been would really have been bad. bad, especially just because it was a three resource sink or a three experience sink. That would have been bad. Yeah. 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 Oh, what a what a yeah. bummer that could have been. <laughs> yeah. So excellent in killing the final guy. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was great. <laughs> I think Nelson might be Bruce Banner. I haven't seen him lose yet. So the Hulk has to has been controlled. <laughs> Rah. Yeah. I have definitely lost, so I think now now I'm thinking that you're our good luck charm. So every Yay. every stream that you join, we win. Yeah. So now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> that said, if B Cop was sacrificed, you could use another because he has a generic name. Yeah. So oh. it's only like if medical student was sacrificed, I could take med medical student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just not a named one. Right. I'm surprised I haven't convinced Meg to buy all the buy the same token stuff. Yeah, you should buy yeah. all the same token stuff. <laughs> it is tempting. I think if we weren't actually playing together and me watching you. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, is like I have like my I have like uh, upgraded tokens. They're not the same ones as Nelson, but these this was a collection that was sent to me. So my friend Bryce uh, played through it all and was like, eh, I'm not gonna play it anymore if you want it. So it came with these tokens. I really like these clue tokens. Nice. Yeah. Um, and they feel really nice. So if I didn't have these, I definitely would be buying something. But I feel like this is just enough that I, like, don't need anything yet. Right. We shall see, though. The Marvel Champions trays are very, very tempting. <laughs> Beast Snow's name is also Bryce. <laughs> 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 um. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it took me a minute because you said that and then I read what they said. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, tell everyone where they can find you and then we'll talk about our next streams. Yeah, I'm Professor Meg everywhere. Um, I have a YouTube channel, I have an Instagram, and I also stream on Twitch on Tuesday and Thursday nights and sometimes Sunday afternoons, uh, playing mostly Gloomhaven Digital, but then some other stuff. But right now I am going through a top 100 games of all time over on Board Game Co., so you can check those out. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And we, I will be streaming on Monday, but our next stream will be next Friday. Where yes. we're gonna take on the next whatever whatever is next in our pre-Christmas stream. 
It's Christmas pre- Eve Eve. Christmas Eve Eve. We're going to save the town of Dunwich. It's going to be a Christmas miracle. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're going to fight against Krampus probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome would that be? Yeah. Awesome. Well, <laughs> Thank you all so very much for hanging out. I appreciate you all. And I look forward to taking on the next scenario because we crushed it this game. I'm I'm really happy with the outcome of this one. So, And we have four experience to spend, which I think I may grab the charisma. um, But I'm going to look and see what other powerful things I can do. I could eventually get a lightning gun. So I might do that. That's pretty sick. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> we need to see some ex- our Christmas decorations next time. I can change my lights. I did. I can change my lights to Christmas lights. Yeah. I was thinking, me. I'll see if I, I know I have a Santa hat somewhere, so I'll see if I can find it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you all so very much for hanging out. Until next time, see you around. Happy gaming. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bye, guys.